I'm running a test to compare ages and preferred coffee place. The first thing that I want to do is to come up with my row and column sums. So I'm going to go to the end of a row and then type equals sum parenthesis. Then I click, hold, and drag over the cells that I'm adding. Now I can drag this formula down by clicking on that last input. I'm going to look for that blue square in the bottom corner, hover over it till I get the plus sign, and then I click, hold, and drag. Let's do this with our columns as well. So equals sum parenthesis. I'm going to click, hold, and drag over those two. I'm going to go ahead and click again on that sum, and then I'm going to get that plus sign and then drag it over. Finally, I want an overall sum for my table. So I'm going to add sum. I am going to add the two numbers above. I could also add those two column sums. I would end up with the same value. Now it guessed what I wanted, and that's exactly what I do want. So at this point, I can just hit Enter. And I've got my overall total of 190. I'm going to go ahead and put a border around that one. Next, we want to come up with our expected values. My goal is to be able to compute the chi-square measure, which takes observed minus expected, squared divided by expected, kind of like a percent change formula. In order to do this for a chi-square table, I need to do row sum times column sum divided by total. What I'm doing is using the overall proportion, assuming there's no difference or no preference between my variables. So for this very first one, I'm in the Starbucks row, the under 30 column. So I'm going to go equals that under 30 row sum times the Starbucks column sum divided by my total and then enter or the Dutch rows. I'm going to again type enter and then I want the Dutch rows under 30. So under 30 times Dutch rows divided by total. Now let's do the next row. So now I'm at Starbucks 30 and over. So equals um, Starbucks 30 and over. So that one times my column divided by my total. And then I'll do the same in the very last one. I really just want one additional decimal place. So I can go ahead and click, drag, and hold over all of these cells. And then I'm going to use the decrease decimal icon here until I get just a single decimal place. Now, a really great way to check these is to go ahead and add each of these up. I don't need to, but it's a really nice double check. So I went ahead and did a quick sum check and all of my sums match. If you're within a 0.1, then you're fine because we did do a little bit of rounding there. Next, I'm going to move on to step number three, and that's coming up with the fractional part of the summation. Each of the cells in my table are going to have this observed minus expected squared divided by expected. And then I'm going to add all four of those values up. So let's go ahead and start working through each of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Starbucks under 30. So I want to do parenthesis observed. So I grab that 27 minus expected parenthesis squared divided by my expected value. So back to my expected table here. And I can go ahead and do that to the next one as well. So equals parenthesis observed minus expected squared divided by expected. I'm going to do the same thing for my 30 and over row. Once I've computed this for each of my cells, I am ready to find my chi-square measure. I'm going to add up all of these values doing the summation in our formula. I'm going to move over to the cell next to chi-square here, and I'm going to type equals sum parenthesis, and then I'm going to click, drag, and hold through the cells in my table over here, and then enter. Next, I want degrees of freedom. For contingency tables, the degrees of freedom takes off one row and one column, which is going to leave me with a single cell from my original table without the sums. We can also do the number of rows minus one times the number of columns minus one. Either way, that's going to be one times one or a single degree of freedom. Next for that p value, I want to call the function chi dist. So I'm going to type in equals and then chi 
square, I'm looking for that chi dist, right, which is this one here. I'm going to click on it, and it's going to want my chi-square value first. So I click on that chi-square value, and then comma, degrees of freedom. I click on my degrees of freedom, and then we hit enter. This is my p-value, 0 0.002, which is a fairly small p-value. Now I can also find this p-value using what I call a one step. This skips finding the chi-square value altogether, but you do need the observed and expected, but it's really nice. I'm going to type in equals, this time chi test. So I want chi test, which is right here. The chi test wants the observed values. So after my parenthesis, I'm going to click, drag, and hold over the observed values, and then comma, and then my expected values. So again, click, hold, and drag over the expected values, and then hit enter, and it gives me the very same p-value. Look for my video that shows you how to do this for goodness of fit tests. Thank you so much for watching.